Hello, my name is Justin Tooley and today I'm going to be speaking on employee burnout. By the end of this presentation, you should be able to do three things. First, you should understand what employee burnout is, how it's defined. The second one is you're going to understand perhaps what it can do to your organization. And the third thing is, is we're going to identify perhaps one potential solution utilizing the transformational leadership theory. The Mayo Clinic defines employee burnout as a state of physical, emotional, and mental exhaustion combined with doubts about one's work competence and value. 46% of surveyed HR leaders say that employee burnout is responsible for 20 to up to 50% of employee turnover per year in an organization. They even have a term for it called burn and churn. There were four identified causes of employee burnout. The first, excessive overtime or after hours work. The second one is unfair compensation. From 2000 to 2014, economic productivity increased over 21%, meaning we were working harder and producing more, and yet wages from that time period only grew 1.2%. That is a massive disparity. The third reason is actually insufficient technology to keep up with the rapid pace of the modern workforce. And finally, and perhaps the most telling, would be an unreasonable workload. A project time off study said that more than half of employees didn't use their vacation time in 2015 simply because they couldn't find the time to get ahead of their heavy workload. Okay, so we understand that employee burnout is bad on an individual level and people aren't taking their time and they don't perhaps have the right equipment and they're having to work too hard. But what does it really cost the organization for employee burnout? Well, for every turnover, it is said that it's from tens of thousands for up to 1.5 to two times the annual salary. So if you have a key employee who's making $50,000 a year and they leave, the cost associated with their lost productivity, hiring a new worker, getting them up to a productive state, all of that can actually cost $75,000 just by that one employee leaving. That's in addition to the new employee's salary. You now need to tack on up to $75,000 just because that employee left because they were burned out. But in organizations that have hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, you do this over and over and over, you're looking at millions of dollars lost every year simply because of burnout. So what can managers do? I would like to propose using a transformational approach to leadership. Gallup suggests that no other organizational individual has a more direct impact on employee burnout than that employee's direct manager. The transformational approach comes at leadership from five different angles to create a more holistic, practical managerial approach. The first one is model the way. The second is inspire a shared vision. The third is to challenge a process. The fourth is to inspire others to act. And the fifth one is to encourage the heart. Now for today's presentation, we don't have the ability to go through all five steps. So what I'd like to focus on today is focusing on modeling the way. It's broken down into two different areas. The first is to clarify your own personal values and then also the values of the organization. The second is you need to show your employees what to do. You don't need to tell them. As an example, an organization that I worked for previously before grad school had a sunrise to sunset email policy implemented because employees were being burned out by all of the emails. And I remember vividly in a quarterly meeting, we sat down and we said, all right, we all commit. No emails need to be answered before sunrise and no emails need to be sent after sunset. This came directly from our chief and not 48 hours later, I got an email from our chief asking me for something by 8 a.m. the next morning. I got that email at 10 o'clock that night. That showed me what was really important, not what was said, but what needed to be done. So from that point on, I knew exactly what was expected. And at that organization, as organizational leaders, we have the responsibility to create a culture that allows them to succeed 
so we don't have to spend our time managing. And one of the ways that we can do it is by modeling those things that we believe are important. Employees are assets to an organization and they appreciate over time. Based on this graph, if organizations are constantly investing in individuals and then turning around and burning and churning them out of the organization, they are not realizing massive gains in people's productivity and the longevity of an individual. In summary, employee burnout is a consequence of our fast-paced modern workplace. Employee burnout costs organizations money with each and every turnover. To reduce burnout and to reduce turnover, managers must model the way, and they can do so by clarifying their own personal values and the organizational values for their employees and then modeling those behaviors over and over and over to establish trust and credibility. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.